everyone and welcome back to my channel living wills versus last will and testaments are they the same what are the differences and why should you care in this video we will explore the differences between living wills and last will and testaments and why it's important to have one or even both. This is the first video in my new series on estate planning and why it's important to plan for the future. You may have heard of a last will and testament, but have you ever heard of a living will? Many of my clients use these terms interchangeably. However, they are very different and can be equally important. What are they? What do they do? I will give just a brief definition of living wills and last will and testaments here, but we'll dig much deeper into each subject over the next two weeks. In Indiana, a living will is referred to as an advanced directive. And according to Webster's Dictionary, a living will is a legal document drawn up by a competent person to provide guidance for medical and health care decisions, such as termination of life and organ donation in the event that the person becomes incompetent to make such a decision. Basically, that means that you are able to make decisions regarding your end-of-life care now while you are competent and able to think objectively. I warn you now that this document does force you to look at your mortality and answer some very hard questions, but it is better to do it now. One benefit of having a living will is it allows you to make the decisions and be guaranteed that your wishes will be met instead of forcing your family to guess on how you would like to be treated when you can no longer tell your medical staff for yourself. I know this is going to sound horrible, but it is actually best to have a living will in place as soon as possible, even as early as in your 20s. The reason for this is you are able to make competent decisions about something that could potentially be decades in the future. But it also protects you if the unthinkable happens way too early in life. And don't worry if your opinions change on subjects such as artificial extensions of life, organ donation, or any of the other questions that you will be asked to answer. These can be updated, changed, and amended throughout your life. But it's always important to have one in place. Alternatively, a last will and testament is a declaration of a person's wishes regarding the disposal of their estate after their passing. It is a written instrument legally executed to which a person makes disposition of his or her estate to take effect after death. You've probably already heard of a last will and testament. You may even have one are important whether or not you have property or if you think you have anything of value. This document outlines your wishes and saves others from hazarding a guess. My best advice for having a last will and testament is to have one drawn up the first time your employer asks you to pick a beneficiary for something such as life insurance or a 401k or pension. This is your clue that you have gotten your first adult job and now it is time to have an adult will. And again, don't worry, these can be amended, changed, thrown out, and restarted at any point during your life. It is always important to have one just in case life really kicks you in the teeth way too early. If you would like to see my deep dive into both the living will and the last will and testament, hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when those videos are uploaded. If you found this information informative, hit the like button. To recap, a living will or an advanced directive is a document that pertains to end of life and what to do with your body directly after your passing. Alternatively, a last will and testament outlines what is to be done with your property and your money 
after you pass away. Both of these documents are vital and it's important that you have them drawn up as early as possible. Now there are blank forms online that you can use to start the process, but it's, it's always best practice to contact an attorney so they can draw up documents that are customized to you and your situation. Thank you for stopping by and if you would like to know more about the notarization community and simple tips and tricks to make your life easier navigating adulting, check out uh, these two videos here and I'll see you next Sunday.